Welcome guys to another episode of Hypixel, and today I'm actually going to be doing something different. Skyblock Island Tour. I figured this would be a pretty fun activity and be something a little different from just kind of doing Bedwars and Skywars commentaries. Right. Now my island's very... I, I think unfinished is the right word, because you see everything that's unfinished with it, but I guess first off we'll start off with the storage area. Oh, let's shoot the portal up since that's kind of first. This is where I keep all my portals, and uh, it's, it's unfinished, like lots of this island is. Yeah, we've got Blazing Fortress, Deep Caverns, Barn, Birch Park, in the end, Spider's Den, and the Dark Thicket for now. I don't think I'll ever add any more, because I don't really ever... I mean, well, I'd choose the end. But, alright, next up, we have Storage, which... Um, yeah, this is our Storage. It may look kind of organized, but it's not. It's not really. It's kind of just a mess. That's somehow organized, but also not. This is also the building that I record the intro on, since there's a gap that I still haven't finished. And yeah, anyways, this is a diamond cave where I just keep all my diamond minions. Cause I don't. I don't even know why I use these. I mean, I've been ha I've been using them for a while. I have like, I mean, 1.5 million diamonds in my collection. Yeah, they're really not even good for money. Clay minions are better, but I'd keep them anyways. I think they're all this thing, they're tier 7 with these exact upgrades, so. Alright, next up we have the very unfinished Nether World Farm. I mean, I've still gotta make a few more levels, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, this is when I was building a pumpkin farm. For some reason, this wall of water will just never disappear, so. Yeah. Might be making it bigger, but this is so you can stand on the slab and then you can use this. So you can just like run against it and just farm all another wort. If you hit in the right area, you can actually farm both. But if you're on 1.12, it's much easier. This is a library, the last one. This is just for enchanting. And this potato has a very good backstory, okay? So, a person in a Technoblade skin walked up to me, sent me a trade request, gave me that specific potato. That potato has not been made into any other stack. That potato is very special and highly important. Anyways, back to the tour of the island. This is a little brune sting here. Oh yeah, the AFK pool. This is also like where guests spawn because if you visit my island, then you'll spawn in this little room. I think you might spawn directly on top of that. I don't really know. This is an AFK pool. And yeah, you can just kind of float around in there. Um, this is a minion hole. I used to keep all my diamond minions here, but now I have two clay minions, and I used to have a pumpkin minion right here. Oh, yeah, I actually used to have a stack of enchanted clay. Not bad. This one's tier 10. Yeah. And that one is tier 11. I think that's like my only tier 11 minion ever. That's yeah, pretty cool. Well, I guess I should probably rename this video. Or maybe redo the intro, because I think I'll also show off my gear. Um, cause, yeah, why not? So, so my weapon, main weapon, is the AOTD, Aspect of Dragons. You can just look at the enchantments, I'm not about to read all these. But yeah, I got spicy on it. And our bow is our Runon's bow, Runon's bow. I don't really know how to say it. Once again, you can just look at the enchantments, because I'm not, I don't really want to say all say them out loud with unreal on it because I mean 50 crit damage and 25 strength not bad grappling hook and then I have an OTE I just use it for the ability this is just if I want to stack up on intelligence just maybe spam this something like that I don't want amending I don't even know why I really made this because it's not actually that useful but you know so our accessory bag I'm just gonna do a quick little run through I'm not actually gonna read all these. I have unpleasant on most of them, so I can just get around like a 90% crit chance. I do have itchy on this though, because unpleasant. I feel like it's just better to have this on. Itchy to have on a legendary accessory. I also have some in my inventory, because my bag is big enough. Our quiver, it's just arrows. Potion bag, I have some strength 5 and some crit 3. Mostly for Slayers, but usually I have some Regeneration 7s, but I don't have any right now. 
And let's check out our armor. Right now I have some fierce strong dragon armor, maxed out. But I also have a wise dragon armor, all with wise, and this one has necrotic on it. And yeah, and if I hold my revenant, falcon, I think. Could be like falchion. Falcon, I'm, I'm just gonna call it falcon. Get 1100 intelligence with it, mana. Whatever, pretty similar. And lastly, my young dragon armor. Which is, I mean, for speed, but also use it if you ever want to farm zealots, which I do a bit. Since, I mean, if you have critical 5 and strength, or critical 3 and strength 5, this, and I can actually win it zealots, and it's faster than using, like, strong dragon armor. But if there's ever a dragon fight, I'll usually just use strong dragon armor and spam this, but, I mean, half the fight I can't even see the dragon, so it's not that effective, but, you know. I think I got my first ever dragon set was protectors, and then I realized it's the worst dragon set. Yeah, that's kind of depressing. And then I got young, and then wise, and then strong, and then next. It's probably just gonna be superior. It's gonna take a while, but I don't see any other ones. All right. I don't really know what else we could do. Um. Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's really about it. I mean, I've only got 20k coins right now, so, um, well, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, maybe, and, uh, bye!